hello everybody and welcome to today's video if you're new here welcome to my channel i hope you're all doing really well so today's video is going to be my annual halloween party vlog now when i say vlog i always forget to take clips at the actual party so this is more going to be getting my house ready decorating doing all of the food the snacks the drinks all that sort of thing and then hopefully having time to do a get ready with me when i'm getting into my costume and doing all of my halloween makeup and stuff i always throw a costume party for halloween and this year the theme is hero and villains so I'm gonna be going as the Queen of Hearts and I've had a look on Pinterest I have attempted this makeup look twice already and both times I've not been quite happy with it so hopefully I'm gonna have enough time to do a full get ready with me and we can try different things with the eye look if I'm not happy um, but I am actually starting this video the day before my Halloween party because I always run out of time on the day I'm always rushing around trying to decorate trying to pump up balloons trying to do all the food stuff and I thought I would be sensible this year and do the food stuff the day before so yeah mission for today is I want to get all of the snacks done so I've got some like DIY home baking things that I am going to test out when I say baking I think only one thing requires the oven but that is the goal for today okay so there are four things that I want to make for snacks the first is an idea that I saw on Instagram and I found this skull ice cube tray that I think is going to work really nicely for it so you can make like skull chocolates so I'm going to fill the ice cube tray with like melted down chocolate but then right at the top of them I'm going to put a walnut and then that makes it look like a brain so hopefully they will be quite cool for that I'm torn between using extra dark chocolate that I've bought and also white chocolate and then putting some green food coloring in it i don't know which would look cooler i might do both also if the walnuts don't look good i've got some gummy brains that might look good instead we'll see then if you watched my vlog last year you will have seen that i did these like square bar like mummy things so you just drizzle some white chocolate over the top and put on some edible eyes and this is super quick and easy one to do but also it looks quite effective so i'm going to do these again i also have this brain jelly mold that i feel like Halloween is the one time of year that I can use this so I might as well make this again. I did make the mistake before making like alcoholic jelly in this and it was really strong so I think I'm just gonna stick with normal jelly this year and maybe make some jello shots as well we'll see how much we have over um but yeah I also have so it's like a skull it's meant to be like a bowl that you put sweets in however I'm thinking if I put a plate on top of that and then put the jelly on top that, that will look quite cool so I think that's how I'm gonna display that this year <laughs> I've seen people put sweets in the jelly so I got these sour snake sweets to put in there because I thought if I'm not making alcoholic jelly might as well add something to it however I don't I don't see how they're not just gonna like all float to the bottom we're gonna see how we go on with that and then our final thing is the closest thing that I've got to actual baking because I have to turn the oven on for this I just need to add milk and oil to these cookie mixes and I thought that would be quite cool but I've got these Halloween marshmallows that I thought would be cool on top they're little like ghosts and I thought that is how I can make the cookies Halloweeny. <laughs> So yeah, those are all of the snacks that I'm going to be making. I also got these Halloween shot glasses, which I feel like are going to be so cool for the party. Um, but yeah, we're going to start making the snacks now. Okay, so brain jelly is made. My only issue is these snakes. I feel like if I put in there, they're just going to sink to the bottom, but we're going to add them anyway and see. As always, that took far longer than expected, but I've got everything made and ready now. I'm happy with how everything is looking. So I will check back in with you tomorrow when we start decorating. 
Good morning, we are starting with wet hair today. I'm definitely not looking my best, but I have loads that I need to get done. I wanna start with decorating the house. I need to paint my nails later. I need to do my makeup, do my hair. So yeah, we're gonna start with the house. Okay, so I have this huge box of Halloween party decorations that I'm gonna get out and see what we're working with. Skeletons. I have quite a few of these like Halloween material type things. So I feel like this would be good to like drape over some of my stuff that maybe doesn't look so Halloween-y and cover all of the other furniture bits. Ghost palm, which we will definitely be playing later. A surprising amount of tablecloths. I think I have four here. So I think I only need like one or two, but we'll save some for next year. I have these paper decorations, which I have a few of these for like out in my garden for the parties that I throw in the summer as well and I love these because you can reuse them so I'm trying to get more of these rather than balloons now but I do have some balloons as well but we have cobwebs and pumpkins. I also bought more of a traditional Halloween party game. I've got pin the eyes on the zombie or something like that so we'll figure out where we're gonna put that. I've got some Halloween straws and also these are like blood bag drink dispensers um, which I got for last year's Halloween party and didn't end up actually using so I might use them this year we'll see. Balloons and balloon banners. I've got quite a lot of normal banners as well. <laughs> Some of this keep out tape stuff, which I feel like would be good on the doors maybe. I normally do some sort of like backdrop photo wall kind of thing that we all take photos at. So I've got quite a lot of this. I've got some back curtains, I've got some pumpkin ones, and then I've also got some plain black ones as well. I've got lots of fairy lights, even more, more still, and a neon pumpkin light. And finally, we have a Halloween bowl, which I have a couple of these in my kitchen already. So this is what we're gonna put like the snacks and stuff in. And that is my Halloween decoration box. So let's get decorating. We have stopped for a coffee break, but I feel like I'm like halfway there with the house decorations now, so that's good. I need to pump up all of the balloons now and then, yeah, start getting me ready. Okay, so whilst I do probably already have enough stuff, I did decide to get out my regular party box just to see what other things that I could get out. And I mean, I always love throwing a party, so I've got some like generic stuff that I can use. So I've got these disco lights. I've actually got two of them, so I'm gonna get them out to go. One in the kitchen, one in here. I've got this like chalkboard sign that I thought I could write something on for Halloween. I'm gonna go through here and see what else I can use. I have got this karaoke machine, but I feel like I'm gonna save that to my birthday party next year. So friends, if you're watching this, be warned. Um, I've got a disco sign that's purple, so that might be quite Halloween-y. So yeah, we'll see what we find. That took an embarrassingly long time for my dyslexic brain to be able to find these letters. Okay, I am basically there with decorating. I will give you a little rundown of what we have so far. Obviously, it will look better later when all of the lights are on and stuff, but yeah. So I've got these like door cover tassel things on both of my doors for my kitchen and my living room. Obviously, I'm going to move all the chairs out of the way in a second so that'll look better then. But here is the food table so far, and then I'll have my lights on over there. We've got the pin the eyes on the zombie thing. Then I need to put a balloon banner garland thing up here. And then we'll have our drink station over in this bit, which will have like the lights and stuff as well. I have a spare cookie, so I'm gonna have that for my lunch now. <laughs> and then through here, I still need to put some of the banners up as well. And I wanna put like one of the balloon banners up on that bit and then probably a banner over the top as well. Um, but I put the cobweb like paper things up there. We'll have another food and drink station here. And hopefully when all the lights and stuff are turned on, it's gonna look cool in here as well. So time for my most dreaded part of each party, which is pumping up the balloons. <laughs> now I will say I'm kind of worried about the jelly. I decided to put it in the freezer for a bit. So hopefully it would hold its shape and it's got a bit of a weird texture. Um, so yeah, hopefully that sorts itself out if I put it in the fridge now. <laughs> okay, banner one complete. And the second banner is complete now. I picked the smaller one for this one because I feel like where we'll be stood like there, maybe that'll work better. So we'll see. 
Okay, so now the house is basically done, I'm gonna start getting me ready. It's currently at five and I've said to come from seven-ish, so people will probably come from like half seven. So I've still got a while, but I still need to put my contact lenses in, do my makeup, do my hair, paint my nails. So I'll show you the accessories bits that I've got to go with my costume now, but then after that, I need to find time to have dinner sometime within the next two hours. <laughs> so like I said, I'm going as Queen of Hearts. You may have seen this costume in my X Plus Wear haul that I really recently did and my mum has very kindly put some like wiring in um this like it's like a cone thingy around the neck to help it stay up so yeah we've got some additions it's like a DIY costume mixed with the one that I was sent I also got some tights and these are actually really cool because it's probably not going to show but they've got like hearts and clubs and spades and stuff on so I thought they would be quite cool to go with it I'm either going to do space buns or pigtails so I've got like little black scrunchies to go with them I did buy a wig for this costume like a red bob wig but I feel like I've tried it on a couple of times and I feel like it's too costumey like it's too much with the wig. I've got a crown and a little like wand type thing, a heart necklace and also some heart little stickers which I'm going to use to do like blush on my face. I've got some little card earrings and also these little stickers which I thought would be quite good to put on my nails so I think I'm going to paint my nails white and then put these over the top but yeah first I'm going to make the decision whether or not to wear my contact lenses. You may have seen these already because I did a haul where I was kindly gifted some contact lenses from Coal Eyes and I'm debating wearing the red ones. I'm going to try and try them on now and see if they feel comfy. <laughs> okay so it took a minute. I mean my face is a bit red because I literally have been like teary eyed as I'm trying to put them in my eyes but I mean I feel like they look quite cool. I can see out of them as well which is really good. This eye surprisingly like has completely adjusted and is not like irritable at all within. This one is still taking some time so um yeah we'll see how that goes but I do feel like I will keep them in because I mean they do look quite cool <laughs> on to makeup like I said I've attempted the makeup look for this twice and I really I mean obviously Queen of Hearts has like a blue eyeshadow red lips and I feel like that combo just really doesn't suit me so I think I am going to do a blue smoky wing um and then red lipstick rather than like the red heart lips which I've seen some people do I do think it looks quite cool but on me I just don't think it suits me so I would rather like look nice and in costume I mean my costume is pretty extra as well and we've got the contact lenses too so I think yeah I think we're gonna go for that Okay, so base makeup is done everything apart from blush. Blush, normally I will use like almost like a coral toned blush to just go over my nose and I normally place it like here. However, for this look, I'm kind of taking inspiration from a look that I saw on Pinterest with like hearts on the cheeks. So I got these heart stickers and I think I'm gonna put like three like here and then go over with the blush and then peel off the stickers and then it will look like hearts on my face. So we're gonna try that. Okay, I mean, it's dramatic, but that's what Halloween is all about. <laughs> so now let's attempt to do the blue winged eyeliner. I feel like that is gonna look better than trying to do like a whole blue eyeshadow look. And then I am gonna wait until after I've had my dinner to even attempt to do something to do with lipstick, but I can only do my eyeshadow and eyeliner in front of my bathroom mirror. So I will come back when I've done that. <laughs> I feel like that got dark really quickly, but here is the finished eye look. I'm glad that I went for a smoky eyeliner rather than a full blue eyeshadow, because I feel like that would have been too much with all of the hearts going on also I will have red lipstick so it will still probably look like quite a lot and when I have the costume on as well but for now I am gonna go and paint my nails and see how we get on with that I am not really a nails girly I've always been terrible at painting my nails I feel like I was more into makeup than like hair or nails but I've been trying to buy more nail polishes to build up my collection and I've got this white one that I'm gonna be using this evening it's a Rimmel one and then I'm gonna put a shiny top coat on top and then put the little sticker things as well Okay, are you ready to see the final look? 
ta-da, this is all complete now. Even though I literally started yesterday for my party today, I was still managing to run late. So I decided to get into my costume and finish off the makeup look, but I'm really happy with how it's gone. I did put the little like nail stickers underneath my eyes too, because I thought that would look cool. Finished off doing my nails. So now the final things to do are make a cocktail downstairs and then yeah, turn all the lights and then we are ready to go. So here is what the kitchen is looking like. I've got out all of the snacks and stuff now. So yeah, and I've turned on the lights and now through here, I do love when all the lights are turned on. I feel like it looks super cool. So yeah, this is what this room is looking like now too, which I am really happy with. And here is what my costume is looking like. So I decided on a red cocktail because I thought it was quite Halloween-y. I've gone for, I think, peach schnapps, vodka, WKD, lemonade and grenadine. So I don't know if it's going to taste nice, but there we go. So now all of that is done, I am very happy to say that I am finally ready for my Halloween party for 2024. I am very excited for my friends to get here and we can get this party started, but I will include any clips that I take at the party after this. But if I don't speak to you before, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, I would love it if you would consider liking and subscribing and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!